In a serene forest, a white rabbit frolicked until the peace was shattered by machinery. Startled, it darted away. Inside a massive machine, Hoggish greedily cackled, With this, I can drill for oil anywhere. His sidekick, Rigger, joked about drilling in wildlife on Hope Island. Gaia, the spirit of Earth, is jolted awake by a deep rumble. Water drips onto her face, prompting her to magically repair a hole in the ceiling. Another rumble raises her concern, and she activates her planet vision. She discovers Greedley's illegal drilling operation, oil seeping into the ocean. Those poor, silly humans, she sighs. They're going to destroy my planet. Realizing she has slumbered too long, Gaia decides to summon five special young people from around the world. With a flourish, she calls upon a crystal containing five magical rings. It's time to use them, she declares, sending the rings soaring into the air as she narrates their journey. Kwame, the first planeteer, discovers his ring in a sun-baked desert. He leans on his staff, wiping sweat from his brow as he digs. After a few attempts, the glowing ring catches on his staff, sparking curiosity in his eyes. Next, Guy, the second planeteer, swims in the ocean with a dolphin. As she prepares to leave, the dolphin surprises her by tossing her ring back. She catches it and examines it closely. Wheeler, the third planeteer, finds his ring in a gritty New York City alley. Just as a thug is about to attack a young man, Wheeler intervenes, kicking the thug away. A nearby garbage can ignites, launching his ring into the sky, which he catches effortlessly. Linka, the fourth planeteer, stands on a cliff in Russia, the wind tousling her hair as she plays a keyboard. A curious bird swoops in and drops her ring into her hand. Lastly, Mati, the fifth planeteer, encounters his ring while rescuing a small monkey named Suchi from a jaguar in South America. He frightens off the jaguar and receives the ring from the grateful monkey. The planeteers, having just tried on their rings, find themselves instantly transported to the mysterious Hope Island. Confused and intrigued, they stand before Gaia, the spirit of Earth. Wheeler, always quick to act, steps forward, demanding to know why they've been brought here. Gaia calmly explains that they have been chosen to protect the planet from destruction, each of them wielding a unique power tied to nature. Eager to understand their abilities, Gaia encourages the planeteers to test their rings. Linka steps up first, but her attempt to use the power of wind quickly spirals out of control. A small whirlwind forms around her, lifting her into the air before dropping her back to the ground. Kwama, on the other hand, shows remarkable control over his power of Earth, immediately grasping how useful it can be. Wheeler, full of enthusiasm, accidentally sets himself on fire while experimenting with his power, causing Gaia to call on Guy to extinguish the flames. Guy tries, but she accidentally summons a massive wave that drenches everyone. Matai steps forward to explain his power of heart, stating that he can sense everyone's emotions and hear their thoughts. Gaia elaborates that Matai's gift is vital, connecting the planeteers and guiding them. Gaia Earth declares the planeteers a team, bonded by their shared responsibility to protect the Earth. She instructs them to move quickly, as there is no time to waste. Gaia Earth initiates planet vision, showing the planeteers the destruction caused by Hoggish Greedly. 
they watch in horror as oil spills into the ocean, destroying wildlife, while Greedley and his henchman Rigger laugh off the environmental devastation. Geechan takes the lead as the Planeteers pilot the geocruiser over the ocean toward Greedley's operation. Wheeler Thompson, annoyed that he can't fly, complains, only to learn that Gi Chen is the only one with a driver's license. Gi Chen takes the lead as the Planeteers pilot the geocruiser over the ocean toward Greedley's operation. Wheeler Thompson, annoyed that he can't fly, complains, only to learn that Gi Chen is the only one with a driver's license. Linka expresses her concerns about going on the mission without Gaia's guidance. Mati reassures her by summoning a holographic image of Gaia with his ring. Gaia comforts them, reminding them that while she must remain on Hope Island, she will always be with them in spirit. As they fly closer to Greedley's operation, Wheeler, still struggling with his powers, accidentally ignites himself again by uttering the word fire. Guy quickly douses the flames, leading to laughter and more caution among the team. Gaia advises the Planeteers to believe in themselves, emphasizing the importance of combining their powers when facing overwhelming challenges. She fades away, leaving them to embark on their mission filled with uncertainty, but ready to protect the Earth. The Planeteers fly over the oil-slicked coastline, witnessing the destruction caused by Greedley. The sight deeply affects Linka. Guy tries to land the geocruiser on Greedley's machine as they prepare to confront the villain. As the geocruiser spins toward disaster, Kwame keeps calm and suggests Linka use her wind powers. Leaning out of the craft, Linka manages to stabilize it with her power. With the geocruiser still in danger, Kwame takes charge. He uses his powers to raise an island from the ocean floor, providing a safe landing spot. The team touches down, relieved but wary of what Greedley might do next. Wheeler calls out to Greedley using a megaphone, warning him that the Planeteers have arrived to stop his destruction. Greedley dismisses them as children, threatening to harm the wildlife if they get any closer. Realizing the situation is slipping out of control, Kwame suggests combining their powers. Together, the Planeteers summon Captain Planet for the first time. As Captain Planet emerges, Greedley and Rigger panic and attempt to flee. Captain Planet reassures the Planeteers that their rings are temporarily powerless while he's active, but that he is their combined strength. Greedley, determined to stop Captain Planet, sends his machine to capture him. The machine's claws grab Captain Planet and a drill is sent to pierce his chest, but it bounces off harmlessly. Captain Planet easily overpowers Rigger, tossing him aside. Kwame clears some sludge from Captain Planet's chest, exposing the emblem to sunlight. Linka and Guy fetch water to cleanse the toxic waste. With the toxic sludge washed away, Captain Planet's strength returns and he prepares to finish the battle. Captain Planet dismantles Greedley's machine as Greedley escapes into the chaos. Afterward, Captain Planet thanks the Planeteers and vanishes, returning their powers. The Planeteers then focus on cleaning up the beach and saving the wildlife, victorious in their first mission. <laughs>